to my channel. I feel like I haven't sat here and filmed in forever. I've been doing a lot of vlogs on my channel because obviously with Noah it just gets hard to film but I really really miss it so I was like I'm gonna try and get back into the swing of things, try and do at least one video a week, maybe even two. I don't know if that's being too optimistic. Um, I'm gonna try and like bulk film a few today so that I've got stuff for the next few weeks because I do really miss it. I really miss sitting here chatting to you guys. I miss the editing. I miss all of it. Um, I'm gonna try and do a lot more fashion related stuff as well because that's what I love to like create and it's what I always wanted to do on my channel and I know you guys love the vlogs um, but I feel like I just want to try and get a little bit of balance back and try and do more fashion and beauty as well because like I said that's what I enjoy. Um, so anyway today's video is going to be a haul. Throughout July what I'm going to do is every week try and do like um, <laughs> every week try and do um, a clothes haul and a try maybe a try on as well just to show you guys how I would style it because I feel like that kind of brings in the elements of a lookbook as well it's just in this heat even though it's absolutely gorgeous I love the weather at the moment I'm not complaining but it does get really really hot and when you're wearing a hijab it can be difficult to know um what to wear or how to style certain pieces like you know when things have slits or they're see-through or they're sleeveless it's kind of like oh I really like this it'll be perfect for the heat but actually how do I make it work with my hijab so that's what I'm going to try and do over the next few weeks today is going to be a haul from Zara so these are all of the little pieces that I got in the Zara sale and um, they had some amazing stuff but I do feel like Zara is for like tall a slim woman it's not for <laughs> short chubby women like me but I love all of these things so I was like you know what I'm gonna try and rock them anyway and see if I can make it work because obviously I still got my mum tum I had a mum tum before I even was a mum so it's a tum that I've always had um, and it does stick out in some of the dresses but I still like them so I was like you know what I'll get them I'll try and wear them and see if I can work them but yeah anyway I'm gonna talk through each piece and then do like a little bit of a try on to show you guys what they look like I will try and link all of the items down below um, but like I said most of these were from the sale um, so they might not have them anymore because stuff goes so quickly in the Zara sale um, so I'll try and find similar ones where I can if I can hopefully I'll be able to get through the whole of this video without Fazan coming in and being like oh no one needs you for this and this because he's already been in once to be like change his nappies and I really think you <laughs> really stinky poo and Fazana just eat it so he's like I'm not gonna change it I, would, I need you to change <laughs> I need you to change it so this is like the third time I'm filming this intro so hopefully let's see if we can get through this video and obviously if you like it make sure you give a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already so this is the first piece that I wanted to try on and show you this is what I was wearing I don't know if I'm far back enough <laughs> this is what I was wearing today um it's the second time I've worn it I really really loved it which is why I picked it up I love the color like the ready orange I love the silky material um and I just felt like it looked really elegant but I'm gonna be honest I am a little bit disappointed I think this was either 60 or 50 down to 30 um and there was just so much I liked about it I like the button details as well the camera picks that up and then it has it's got like these two little um panels here which I actually really like like on the website they're just kind of the models like this and they're just kind of hanging down but like she is super slim I tried it like this before and I felt like it really just made my waist look really wide so I chose to kind of tie it like this probably would look better if I was slimmer but I really liked it which is why I got it but like I said I'm a bit disappointed in it because um two of the buttons have fallen off already I've only worn it twice and like this material just started to fray which I just think is really disappointing like um it looked like oh and here back here as well I don't know if you guys can see um, let me get closer to the camera. Um, but it looked like it was going to be a really good material. Like I do, I do like it. And you know, if I got like maybe half a dozen wears out of it, I'd be like, yeah, it's fine. But for wearing something twice and not even washing it, for it to kind of start falling apart, like this is really disappointing. Um, the sleeves are full length sleeves, but then the like if you want the shoulders to be in place, um, you kind of have to like pull it up. Like the neck is quite low. Um, and then the sleeves come to here. And then this bit here has got a peep hole, so you can't leave. The two straps down me down. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but yeah, this is the first piece. Here's the polka dot dress, guys. I absolutely love this. They didn't have it in any other sizes apart from size small, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get it. So it is a little bit tight on the bust, but it's really slimming. Like it's got um, I think they're called darts. It's got dart. It's basically two pieces at the back, and then it's not darts. It's panelled. So there's three panels here as well, and I just feel like that gives like a really slimming fit. Um, and to be honest, this like just it's just so modest and so perfect. It's got collars and it's got buttons as well, so it's perfect for breastfeeding. Um, you would need to pair it with leggings because it doesn't like close. It's got buttons down the front. Um, I just absolutely love it, and the material is really really light as well. It's so funny. I wore this to the Mac event last week, um, and it was super sunny. And Maria rang me, she's like, "What are you wearing?" I was like, "I'm wearing a black summer dress." And I was like, "That sounds <laughs> really weird. How can you have a black dress and it be a summer dress?" But this is 
a black summer dress and it is really really lovely i just i just love this one so much i love the way it looks i love the way it makes me feel and i feel like the paneling which i showed you guys before is like really really slimming and then obviously it's got pockets it's got buttons um it's got piping on as well it's got piping on the shoulders and then piping on the sleeves which is like a ready maroon color um but I feel like the polka dots are really on trend. And obviously black is slimming. I know most people wouldn't want to wear black in this weather. But I actually like wearing black just because um, it means I can wear my black hijab. And I absolutely love wearing this hijab. Um, but like I said, I wore this to the Mac event last week. And I feel like I didn't get a decent outfit picture. So this is definitely going to come up a few more times. And it's just so convenient for like wearing when I'm running a back. Because I can feed Noah in it. And it's just so lightweight. And makes me feel good about myself. And I guess... That's the main thing, that's the most important thing, how something makes you feel. I also picked this up, I picked it up and then I put it down and then I picked it up and put it down and then I picked it up for a third time and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get it. I, the reason I kept putting it down is because obviously it's sleeveless. Um, this is a size medium, it was 40 pounds down to 30. It's like a full length dress. I just thought this would be nice, um, maybe not in the summer, but in the autumn, it's got like a knitted um, top and then it has got like an underdress as well so if I can find that colour long sleeve top I think it would work really well with this um, and it could work really well as like a day dress or as an evening dress depending on what I pair it with it might be a little bit too long for me but we'll see in a second um, but I just love the colour I feel like it's a proper auton autonomous colour um, and I love like the knitted stuff on it as well I just feel like it might be too much for this hot weather but like I said, like early September, even late September, this could really work. So I feel like this dress could work with like a, um, this colour top underneath just because it's got the lining under it. So because obviously it's like knitted, um, it's got like this material, like lycra, stretchy material lining underneath it. I'm really good because I actually had a top like this that I got rid of in my last clear up. But it was from Primark. It was like one of those stretchy tops from Primark that's like three quid. So I'm hoping I can find this colour again because I feel like this would be really great for like um, autumn. And I feel like it could be like a really casual day dress like paired with flats. Um, and like again I feel like I could pair this with a denim jacket or just with like a long sleeve top um, and then you could like really change it up into an even one just by like heels and a clutch um, but I like the colour and I like um, if you guys can see like the knitted print on this um, it does make my look a little bit wide but I feel like if I didn't have the mom tam it would be quite slimming just because of the lycra dress underneath I feel like that kind of sucks everything in um, so that the knitted dress on top kind of just flatters but yeah I, I just thought it was really cute so the next piece is this yellow dress, which I absolutely love. I've already worn it, so it does have a couple of stains on it, ice cream stains, but I was like, I'll film the video and then I'll wash it. Um, but it's really light, really lightweight, which I find, find is perfect for this type of weather. Um, that's what the sleeves are like. The sleeves are really cute on it as well. Um, it's got this little bit here, which is elasticated. Um, and I find that if I wear this just under my bust, it makes me look really chubby, whereas if I pull it down to my waist, it's kind of a little bit more flattering. It does have a belt as well, which I, when I wore this, I actually chose to tie it at the front. I think it's supposed to be at the back, but I don't want to tie it at the back because I was like, it's going to make me look even wider than I am. But it has long sleeves, which is a bonus. I always love it when things have long sleeves. It is mid-calf length. I saw somebody wear, wear this on Instagram and actually it was full length on her, so I guess it depends on how tall or how short you are. But I'm like 5'2 and it's mid-calf length on me, so unless you're really small, this would, wouldn't be like a long dress. The only annoying thing is, it has got a peephole here at the back, which just means that you have to like constantly pull your hijab back just to make sure that that bit of your back is covered. And it just really annoys me that no matter how much of a perfect dress you find, there's always something that's going to be like a little bit of an annoyance um, or it's going to need a bit of alteration when you wear things with a hijab. So this is another one that I really, really love. I just like, I like the colour, I like the material, but I like the fit. I like these shoulders, like I feel like they've got a really good shape to them. I like the detailing on the sleeves. Um, I like the length as well, like it's not super long, but like it's long enough and you can just pair it with like pretty much anything underneath. Um, and the material is like really lightweight, so it's really good for this weather because it means that you don't have to layer and put loads of things on top. It does have a belt as well, which I think it's like supposed to tie at the back, but I feel like that makes me look bigger than I am. Um, so I just like to do it as like a little bow here. Um, and I feel like the bow is like a cute detail. When the waist goes up, it, I feel like it makes you look bigger. So I try to like pull it down because I feel like when it's here, it's accentuating like the smallest part of you. So it will like make you look slimmer. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I think, I can't remember the price of this. I think it was like 50 down to 30, I think. Either 20 or 30, I cannot remember. Um, but it's like this like silky, 
material. It's like, I don't even know what the material is. I shouldn't just mix stuff up, but it's like a silky linen-y material. I should probably check the label and then it's got like this little print on it. But I really, really like it. And I don't normally, I've been feeling a lot of yellow recently and I don't normally like yellow that much. I don't know if it's because it's like super sunny and I'm like in love with the weather or what, but um, yeah. Um, then there's this like yellow mustard dress. Once again, this was one that I was in really in two minds about. Um, this is really heavy, but it's like this. So it's not a straight cut. It kind of goes out. It's a knitted material. And the camera's going to pick that up. Um, but it just, it felt really luxurious. So I was like, oh, I need to get this. This was 40 pounds down to 30. Um, the no sleeves really annoys me, but I feel like if I wear it with like a cropped denim jacket or something, like a cropped denim jacket and like brown heels and a brown scarf, I feel like it would work really, really well. Um, and again, this is something that I feel like I could wear in the summer and in the autumn as well. So you guys have to imagine that this is like a crop denim jacket rather than the top that I'm wearing. I don't have a crop denim jacket, so I can like pair it and show you guys, but I feel like this would work really well with that. Um, I don't know how I feel like about wearing a mustard mustard coloured top under this just because I really like the material of this dress and I feel like if it was one of these tops in this colour it might take away from it or like I feel like this would be more hot than wearing a jacket on top um but obviously like if you wanted to still keep it glam but you have the jacket and like look too casual you can like pair it with the heels like I feel like something like this the yellow and the brown would work really well with like a brown hijab um but yeah that's like the material of the dress that's one of the reasons why um, I really, really liked it. Along with the colour, I actually really like, really like this colour. I'm really feeling this colour. But the panel here at the bottom is in the opposite direction. I do feel like this is a tad bit long for me. But maybe if I had heels on, it would it would work. I still don't know how or where I'm going to wear this. But I liked it too much to not get it. So this next piece, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. I really, really liked it in Zara. It looks I'm gonna say it looks awful on me. I don't know why I bought it. It just makes me look really huge. I feel like if you're really skinny, this would look gorgeous. Um, I probably will have to wear like a long sleeve bodycon dress under this just because the arms, the dress that comes with it is like, is a vest dress, like a string vest dress. So the arms are see through. This was £50 down to £18. Um, yeah, and it is full length as well, but I just felt like for an evening event or something, if I lose if I lose weight then it will look really good but um I just couldn't resist getting it so you guys can probably see what I meant now when I said I feel I felt like it looks like a bag on me but I just love this material like it feels so nice it feels so luxurious like it looks like it's going to be itchy or something because of the glitter but it's not I just feel like if I was like super skinny would not it will look so much better and be a bit taller I know this is one of those dresses that's literally just going to sit on my wardrobe and I'm gonna be like yeah I'm gonna wear it when I lose weight I'm gonna wear it when I lose weight and I'll probably never ever wear it um I just, I really, really liked it. I just feel like it could, it has potential to look really nice. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments whether you think I could rock this or maybe I should wait to lose a little bit of weight and then try it. This piece might potentially be my favourite. Oh, I just had a price on it. I think this was £30, I can't remember. But I love it. This feels so good on. It's like, um, I think the orange is like sort of mesh material and then it's like the black is velvet. Um, and then it has like this panel here, so you can either put the panel down and like leave the strands. I think that's how it's worn on the Zara website. Or what I did was just like tied it back up, um, just because I like the whole tie tie thing. Um, this is, I think it's full length on me. It does have slits on both sides, so you have to pair it with leggings. It's not like a, you know, super hijab friendly. Well, it's, it is really hijab friendly, but it's not 100% hijab friendly because I still have to wear leggings with it. But I have an event coming up in a couple of weeks and I just think this would be perfect for it. Um, and I'm so in love with it. I really, really love this, guys. It just feels so good on. Um, this is the little panel that I was telling you guys about. So I could like leave it like this or I could like tie it back like this or like maybe like pull it up. I feel like that's going to accentuate my... Um, my biggest area which I don't want to do so I don't know I haven't decided what I want to do with this but I just really like it I love the way it feels like you'd think because it's got velvet on it that it might be too hot for this weather but it's not it's just like it's really lightweight um it's like super modest apart from the slits at the bottom that's why I paired it with leggings um and I feel like it's one of those things that like you could wear it for like a like a day event but then you could also dress it up for like an evening event so um and I've got the perfect event that I'm going to be wearing this too hopefully not next week the week after 
I'm really, really excited about that. I don't know. I don't want to take it off now. I don't want to try. I don't want to try the rest on. I just want to leave this one on. Um, but this is obviously the material. Like that's like the knitted bit, and then that's like the velvet bit. I don't normally wear orange. Um, it probably looks red on camera, but I'm really, really feeling this colour recently. Now this piece I really, really liked. Um, it was £70 down to 40 I got it in size large because that's all they had left and I just felt like it looked cute in a size large. But I feel like it, it could also look really cranny bite. But it's just like this checked tunic. Um, I just love the sleeves on it. That's what the sleeves on it look like. Um, and then the neck as well. It's like got a really high neck so you can wear it with like um, a turban. Oh, obviously a normal job um, and once again like just the colour and stuff I feel like it's really lightweight so I could wear it in the summer but then again I could transition it into autumn um, in terms of length I feel like this is slightly long for me because I did get the large length it's supposed to be like um, like a midi length so like mid calf length but I feel like this probably is full length for me let's try and find out so I really really love this I love grey grey is one of my most favourite colours to wear have me really wearing it a lot because obviously it's like summer and I feel like really miserable wearing grey so in one way I can't wait for winter because I like can't wait to get all my grey stuff back out um but obviously this is like a really lightweight summer material so I was like why not it's one of my favourite colours um it is like like really long I feel like because this is a large maybe if it was like a medium this would be slightly higher um and it'd probably be a little bit shorter but it's not a straight cut either it's kind of like What's that called? Is that a line? I've got no idea. I need to learn all of this terminology. Um, but I really like the neck, even though you guys can't see it. It's like this. Um, and then the buttons. The buttons are super cute and I like... I've like got a thing for these buttons at the moment. This is like the... Um, Gamises my mum used to like stitch for me back in the day with all the buttons, like down the sleeves and down, <laughs> down the trouser legs and stuff. Um, but so I don't think I like this anymore. I like really liked it when I picked it up in the store. Um, and like because I've got a few other yellow bits, I was like, oh yeah, oh what? But now I'm not so sure. This is like a really silky material. It's like a shirt slash tunic. Um, it's got a button front, which again is good for breastfeeding. So when I tried it, I was like, oh yeah, I like the convenience of breastfeeding. You can just like pair it with leggings or with jeans. It has got a belt as well, but look at the state of that belt. Um, this was also in the sale. This was £40 down to 30 I think I just really like the material, which is why I picked it up. And I actually really like the print as well. I feel like it... So actually, I remember why I got this now. It does look quite nice on. Like, I wasn't... When I was looking at it again, I was like, I don't know how I feel about the yellow and the black, but actually, I really like it. Um, this does have a belt as well, but the strap, like, the little string thing on this side is ripped. And I knew that when I bought it, so I'm probably just going to take the belt off and not wear it, because I feel like it looks, like, more... It looks more flattering like this. I feel like if I was to like put belt on a tiny, it just wouldn't wouldn't look great. And I, the reason I like this is because it can like pass as a, like a tunic or a gummies as well, so it's like multifunctional. But it's got buttons, so I can feed in it. Um, and it's got pockets as well. Oh, I didn't realise that. It's always convenient when there's pockets. Um, I don't know how I feel about the print. I think it's cute. It's a silky material, and the sleeves are like this, so I guess I could wear them full sleeve as well. Um, but I kind of like them like this. I think. I think they look kind of cute. Actually, let's just check out what they're like for sleeve. Oh, actually, I think it looks nicer for sleeve. That's why you shouldn't make your mind up about stuff before you've seen everything. But actually, yeah, I think that looks better. Um, and obviously it's got colours as well, so like if you wanted to wear a turban hijab with this, I guess you could. Um, sorry guys, my hijab is probably like a right mess when I'm trying stuff on, but it's because I have to keep taking it off when I take stuff off and put it back on, which is why it's gone really creased. Um, so yeah, I do actually like this now that I've got it back on. Um, and then I also got this shirt, which I really, really love. I think this was 20 or 30 pounds. It's in a size, I don't know, I think it's medium. It's, it has another UK size on there. Um, but I just really, really like it. Like it's really, um, it was a see-through, which is obviously really important to me because sometimes I pick up shirts and they're see-through and I'm like, what's the point if I'm going to have to wear something underneath? But I liked it because it was full sleeve. Actually, it's not full sleeve, that's a light. I think it's three-quarter length sleeve. Um, but it was oversized, but you can kinch in the waist. And I just felt like it was like really casual. 
um, but kind of full coverage at the same time, which is really good for this weather. And obviously, I like the polka dots. So this is another one that I love. I think the polka dots are actually navy blue. They look black. I don't know. Maybe I'm going colourblind. I can't tell. Um, and the sleeves are full, guys. But like, I like to do this, so which means that the sleeves pull up a little bit. But you can wear it like really loose, or it's got these like drawstrings here, so you can ouch pull it in so that it gives it a little bit more shape. But um, I'm so glad I got this in a large because I feel like. It's like one of those really like loose, comfy, easy pieces to wear. Um, and then once again, you can like pair it with like black, black leggings, black jeans, blue jeans, white jeans, white leggings. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear now. I need to go see to him before I try any more on. Um, but yeah, I just really, really like it. And obviously, it's got buttons as well. It's got a low neck. I feel like all of the dresses have got low necks. Um, but it's got buttons as well. So once again, like in terms of breastfeeding, it's super, super easy. Um, and because the polka dots look like they're blue rather than they look like they're black rather than they're blue, it means I can wear a black hijab. And then the final piece is this skirt, which I was in two minds about, um, and then I got it. And I'm still in two minds about it because I feel like I'm gonna have to wear it with like leggings and a top, and I I just feel like that much layering in this weather is not convenient. It's not the one, um, but I just thought it was a really cute skirt. I like the colour. Um, and I like that it's got buttons down the front and I like the material. So maybe this could be like a transitional piece for autumn. Um, because I feel like it might be too hot for this right now. So this is the skirt. I feel like it makes me look really big. I feel like a duck. Like a huge duck. Um, I really, really liked it. I thought it was really, really pretty. And it's quite annoying because obviously it was in the sale. So I can't even take it back. Um, I think this was 15 quid. Um, I might just give it to my little sister. Um, because I do really really like it, I love the material, I love the colour, I just feel like it looks really awful on me and like I don't even know, I didn't try this on, it was literally one of those things that like I picked up as I was walking over to the tills um, and I just feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of it being lightweight because I would have to layer it, I would have to like wear leggings and a top, I wouldn't wear this top, I'd wear like a blouse or like a proper top. Um, maybe if I wore it a little bit lower, I don't know if that would help, I've been wearing it at the wrong place, I don't know. I don't, I just, just feel like this, this isn't working, working for me. One of them ones, I guess. So that was my try and haul. I hope you guys really liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up because these videos are super difficult to film. Obviously, because I wear a hijab, I have to like make sure that I take my hijab off and put it back on for each item that I try on. And then when stuff is sleeveless, I have to make sure that I'm wearing it up underneath. And it's like super hot in here right now because of the ring light and the windows are closed because I didn't want noise to come in. And I feel like I'm just complaining. But yeah, a lot of effort goes into filming videos like this and then editing them as well. So I hope you guys do um, enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy making them. I have got um, a couple of hauls in mind. One of them is going to be a Modenisa one. I think you need to do like Primark or Boohoo or something like that. So let me go, let me know in the comments below um, what other hauls you guys would want to see. Um, and hopefully I'll have another video up next Saturday, like another high street haul or an online haul. Try and haul. Um, but yeah, until then, take care.